In 1903, the Wright brothers first took to the skies, a feat that man had been dreaming of since the dawn of time. And it was this feat that thrust humanity in a direction that no one could imagine. However, the world is a very different place now, and calls to find cleaner air travel to save our planet from global warming have been growing. So I set out on a quest to find the solution. I travelled across the country to meet Deepak, a pilot who was flying us into the future of aviation. I'm here in Essex at Damon's Hall where we've come to see the first certified fully electric light aircraft. This thing has a speed of 100 miles per hour but it only runs for about an hour so it's used for training purposes at the moment for training pilots. It's got two engines, two batteries here, one on the side and one in the cockpit and we're about to go out and test it. be like its capacity for what we can achieve at the moment it's like something this size at the moment this is what we have so think about the Wright brothers first flight was 17 seconds that's a hundred years ago yeah okay 17 seconds and then lots and lots of people experimented with different things many crashed many died some technologies didn't work out others did and 70 years after the Wright brothers, I think the speed records went up quite a lot, didn't they? And then there was the Concorde, then the Airbus 380. So this is a generational achievement in the sense is the first electric aircraft available around the world for flight training. It's not experimental, it's not tinkering by somebody, it's actually being made in a factory as an assembly line. The petrol engine version drinks about 50 pounds of petrol an hour. This drinks about two pounds of electricity an hour. It's amazing. So whatever that percentage is. Yeah. After my talk with Deepak, I couldn't wait to have a ride myself. So it was time for a test run. After a not so graceful entry in, it was my turn to ride in the first of its kind electric plane. It was absolutely amazing and you would not be able to tell the difference at all between that and another plane. It was smooth, it was as quiet as a plane can be and it's an amazing piece of kit. Thank you, thank you for taking me up there. Thank you, welcome. After my flight well, well, it was time to pack up, coffee. recharge and go home. But I still had some more questions about the future of air travel. So I got onto a call with the CEO of Nebo Air, the company behind the distribution of the Velis aircraft, to have a look at what the future holds for these green planes. Yeah, because this is like sort of start of something a lot bigger, which is what I gathered from what Deepak was saying, that the models, the planes that you've got at the moment, they're very specific to flying schools at the moment because they don't run for that long. You know, from our point of view, it's, it's very much a learning curve for us. 
Um, we're not so much making any tech mistakes because that's impossible, but it's understanding how we introduce that technology into, for a future de generation um, of pilots. So it, it's perfect to start with the training schools and then it's going to evolve obviously into passenger flight, more passenger flying, more business flights, small business flights, rather than your average man getting a, a very expensive and very um, uncarbon friendly business jet. They'll be able to truly feel comfortable in the knowledge that they're not going to be, um, they're going to be carbon free. At the moment, it, well, it can fly for one hour, which is impressive on its own, but is the capability there to push that up in the near future? Yes. So the first step, there will be increase in the amount of charging cycles. So for example, you go, well, for simplicity of it, you go from 700 hours on your engine or your battery to 1500 hours and then 2500 hours, mm -hmm. right? So the endurance is a different thing. I don't think technology is immediately there. So in the, in the next 24 months, in the next two years, we expect the endurance to start improving. But then if it starts improving, it improves quite fast. So it goes, it goes from one hour to two hours in no time. I finished feeling a sense of hope that even though these planes were not capable of being as large and powerful as the ones burning fuels today, that we were heading in the right direction. And I was excited to see what will come next.